Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. To the Citadel. Yay! Uh, not sure what happened last time because it's about a week ago when I last played. So, um, let's see. I will also increase the sound a bit because I found out that, um, it's not really you. You don't really hear the music. I hear it r quite quite well, but in the videos I make, it's not there, or at least not really strongly heard. <clears throat> oh, come on. Let's move on. Ooh. There's someone who wants something from me. Dor Galinda Stranglehold. Hail. Amidst the critical shortage of supplies, a number of soldiers who call themselves the Fellows of the Crusade have set up a black market in the army. They steal everything that's not nailed down, trade medicine for swords, and spell cross rolls for tobacco and rations. Um, probably not, not good at that. They know better than to ask for anything from command, so they take care of themselves. And if someone's not happy with the trade, out come the knives. I don't know how to deal with it except by alleviating the shortage of essential supplies as Mendef for more deliveries. And we need to sort out our storage. Build some decent warehouses right now. It's a thief's paradise. Right now it's a thief's paradise. Okay. An underground market, huh? What's so bad about that? Let them trade things. Let's authorize it. Then there won't be a black market, just a normal legit market. If someone is in need of something, we are the ones who must provide it. We should all be priests of many different gods. They have wealth and influence. Maybe they can help. Can we do all of that? You thought I was joking when I said our soldiers would soon need our experience of surviving in the caves. Well, here we are. This is day. Time to live off the land. Teach your fighters how to survive on barren rocks and there won't be any need for a black market. Hmm. Who are these fellows of the crusade? Where did they come from? Every army has people like them. Crafty folks who are willing to survive at all costs. In mind, they aren't brigands, otherwise they wouldn't have enlisted in the later army. They want to free Galarian from the demons just as much as anyone, but their choice of methods is indiscriminate, to say the least. Okay. Not everyone joins the crusade out goodness of their hearts. Some are hiding from Mendes' judgment, some are here for glory, some are dreaming of treasure and spoils. We've got repentant uproads, illegit illegitimate children, adventurous rogues, all kinds. And each one of them is poor and used to not being able to rely on those power. In their experience, everyone who has any sort of influence is a greedy cheat, and only common folk can be honest. Okay. 
That's why they call themselves the Fellows of the Crusade. They are your fellow soldiers, who are trying to make things fair in their own way, and others follow suit, whether they really believe them, or they are just doing it as a jest. who knows. Why don't we deal with the root of the problem? We'll perch our ranks of the Fellows. Put everything back in order. Because they are not the root of the problem. When the army has everything they need, these fellows are just like any other soldier. But when it's like this, empty warehouses, rotten gear, not enough food to eat, many may be forced off the straight and narrow. Okay. These are ordinary soldiers. They are no, not saints, that's true. But they are not hopeless reprobate either. But when you charge into battle every day, you learn to value your life and you get used to the idea that you are only one who's responsible for it. Commanders, not your mommy or daddy, and they are not going to appear on the battlefield and give you a potion to save you from a curse or die for you if you don't have one in your bag. So they make do. Okay, we'll shift. How did you end up on this council? And why not, huh? I'm your man when it comes to fetching the unfetchable, you know. So I figured I could show the lads in your army how it's done. And it never hurts to be close to those in charge of grub and new boots. Rushally, what are you doing on this council? You... you think I shouldn't have joined? It's just, well, I spent a lot of time studying how armies work, crusader and demonic. When I was spying, I think my advice might be useful. Or at least, I hope it will be. But if I'm a bother, I'll leave, of course. Really? They really uh, put the answers of the female and the male character really good. Yes, Waldschiff, he's just, he's just, uh, he's just saying, well, I'm the best and that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and she, oh, did I do something wrong? <laughs> I, I thought I could be of help because of my spying, but if you don't think, yeah, I can go really nice, really, really well done. I'd like to hear about your suggestions in more detail. No, I don't want to. Okay, let's see what's the choice here. Market increases finance points. Market increases finance points. Income by 20. Material points income by 1. Only one market can be built for. Uh, shrine increases energy points. Income by 1. And finance points income by 10. Only one shrine being can be built in each fort. Okay. What about land? Elvages post increases materials and energy income by one. Okay. And what's that? House increases finance points income by 100. This built next to an in materials points income by one if it's built next to a supply center and energy points income by one if it is built next to the sanctuary hmm I mean this is the best effect but it's not just warehouse but you have to build the warehouse inside some other things hmm I'm not sure. Material and, and I would like to see if we have already one of these. I I won't take the um, one. Hmm. 
What do we do with the energy points? Edicts. Always eating. Hmm. Hmm. We can buy material and finance points with our own money. We'll probably take the Arushala thing. Okay. So let's look if we can build shrines. <laughs> oh, there is something new. Intolerance. The hatred of the descendants of Sarkoris toward Arcane Spellcast knows no bounds. The representatives of several tribes demand that mages not be allowed to serve in their units. Wait, what? Remove mages from the units made of former Sakorians. Twelve barbarians are recruited at Commander's headquarter. Stand up for the mages. Nine wizards are recruited at the Commander's headquarter. Make the former Sakorians fall in line. Lawful. At 1,500 leadership experience points, that's nice. I don't think that I want one of these two because I don't have barbarians and I don't have wizards until now. So, uh, give the former Sakorians a hint that the commander's support is going to cost them. What's this? Both barbarians are recruited at the commander's headquarters. I'll take this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's enter. So we want shrines, sanctuary, hospital, engineer, supply. Can we just build? Can we build a shrine now? Shelter shrine, there it is. Uh, a temple where priests pray to gods, receiving their blessings and guiding their congregations. Can we build a marketplace? No. Ah, I see. This is just here because of this event. Yeah, well, then let's build a shrine here. What can this do? Alchemist Laboratory provides a bonus to energy for all generals. Uh, I'm not sure if I need Citadel. <sighs> when the enemy storms the outer walls of fort, its defenders retreat to the citadel. Hmm. Are we right now? 
Valuable trophies captured by Crusader's Straw Glory Hunt Hall of Glory reduces the cost of recruiting mercenary units by 5%. That's interesting. Build a Hall of Glory. Hall of Strategy. Plus one bonus to attack. Plus two bonus to power all generals. Hmm. Interesting, but not now. Interesting, but not now. Let's see if we have some place in in oh, I want to yeah thank you. I want to end this place. Yeah, everything built. Okay. Everything built. I should do this in between episodes, probably. Oh, three things. We built three things. We could build a shrine there as well. No. Ah, we can't build a shrine here. See? Hmm. Infirmary size goes up. That's probably quite good. Yeah, let's build this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In and supply center. Also an outpost. Outpost. Dum dum dum. Garrison barracks. Oh, interesting. We have here only one building. This is the garrison barracks, twenty five per cent more to for the main barracks. Okay. Um, yeah, then this here. Uh, what does the supply center do? Increases material points. Material points. Do we want stables as well? No, why not? Why not? There are no material points. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's move out. Let's go to sleep. Ah no, I should have I should have moved my troops. But this was let's move in there again just once. If we have some troops left to be moved, I should do that. Mm hmm Also, like, how about my journal? What should we do next? Final sunset of winter. Winter sun's fate is sealed. The last remnant of all. Future. Okay. Is there anything we should do? Finian's Awakening. One has encountered a group of cultists who demand that Finian be handed over. It's a clear connection to his past here, but it is possible that Finian himself may remember more if asked. Ah, okay. Let's ask him then. Let's do this before we go to sleep. Because if I don't do it, I'll probably forget it. Start the dialogue. We got ambushed by a cultist who spoke of some bladesmith. I suspect you might know him. All too well. He was the one who tortured me. I don't know what specimens they wanted from you. Maybe they thought I had stolen something from them. Wait, I just remembered something. His voice sounds hopeful. That bladesmith's workshop was just outside Is, Right by the wall. If Orum willing, we are ever in those parts, I'll beat the hell out of that scumbag for all he did to me. Okay. So... Go to is probably. Uh, ah, finding these cultists was a stroke of luck. I'm ready to leap into battle right now. Just say the word. It's like I can feel the newfound strength. When you go to is, make sure to bring me along. Okay. Should we move out our troops? Yeah, let's do this before going to sleep. Let's move the troops and probably fight with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 28 days left. Hey, okay, there's a level 6 demon army. There's a level 7 demon army. Don't want to fight level 6 army from me. Hmm. Oh my god. There is a... Um... Yeah, let's let's do this with the level eight army probably. Probably quite. I hope I shouldn't have um, done a safe game <laughs> because with with uh, generals armies with generals are always really strong.
Okay, first of all, let's do a trap. You are just melee guys, aren't you? Ah. Okay, first of all, let's do a uh, heal. Really? Wrong. Go away. again <laughs> um my spawn sounds good Ah, that's fine. Okay. That's nice. Okay, let's heal someone. Like these guys. Oh, we should not kill all of them. <sighs> That's too... No! Uh. really not good. We will lose some of our troops now. But we can't help it because, I mean... Uh. 
Okay, we we lost eleven of these and three of these. That's probably I really hate that these generals. Huge clefts have been hewn into rocky lands, leaving only a high narrow passage wide enough for a rank of only five soldiers. Demons put up a fierce defense of the cliff above, but were slaughtered, so now crusaders can take control of disadvantages. Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, where's this level 7 army? You are going down there. And there is a level 6 army. These are spiders. Okay. What are these spiders? Giant spiders, mind affecting compulsive compulsion, charm defect. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure if it's that probably should save game right now. Shall I do this? No, I shall. Now, I will do this next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.